Let's talk about Education City and all the fantastic content types it has to enhance learning and teaching, and how they're flexible for both independent and whole class progression. There's lots available to help you teach in your classroom. You may have heard of the fantastic activities, but did you know that Education City has many other content types to support different teaching and learning styles? Let us take you through an example of each type of content to help you decide what's best to use in your lessons, whether on a whiteboard to the whole class, or on laptops and tablet devices in small groups, or as individuals. To start, let's choose a subject and select a year group. You'll see a range of content types. As you can see, here we're looking at the English curriculum, but academic stages and years can be changed to suit different curriculums using our preferences settings. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you what I'd cover for a maths lesson on fractions and decimals. First, I'd use a learn screen called Wheelie really Good, which is all about converting fractions to decimals. Animated learn screens introduce and reinforce topics or concepts. They can be used by individual students or as a whole class to help them gain a thorough understanding of a topic. They're also great for revision as they take students through a concept step by step. Many activities complement learn screens and are designed to be used after them. For instance, after I've used the really good learn screen with my class, I'd then use the really good activity to reinforce what's been learned. Activities offer engaging curriculum mapped content to develop students' understanding. They have a set of questions for students to work on to reinforce any knowledge gained. They can be teacher-led for group work on the whiteboard or for individual learning, where the progress of each student is tracked automatically in Success Tracker and My Success. As a plenary, I will use a topic tool such as Decimal Number Line tool to support me with teaching decimals too and for posing the questions I want to my class. Topic tools are flexible teacher-led tools used to introduce or explore a topic. They're ideal for whole class learning on the whiteboard or as reinforcement for groups and individuals. You can even save and open them too, so they're really handy for planning with. To reward my students for their hard work, I'd let them go on Play Live Maths to finish the lesson. Play Live is available in English, Maths, French and Spanish. They are interactive competitive games which allow students to pitch their knowledge against others in a safe, timed environment. Later in the term, I'd set my students a maths assessment to see how they progress throughout the term. Our assessments present students with a selection of questions which they complete in a timed environment. They're great for assessing progress, benchmarking or identifying gaps in knowledge and a curriculum aligned. Scores from assessments are marked automatically and recorded in Success Tracker and My Success. Students also have access to My Revision, which will, for most assessments, generate personalised revision journals if less than 100% is scored. This is great for helping address gaps in knowledge. There's even more content types to use in class too. Thinkits are designed to elicit students' higher order thinking skills. These are great for use in pairs, as a group or class, and act as great activities for carousels or round robins. We also have a selection of videos, which introduce topics in a fun and engaging way. With home access, all of these content types can be accessed 24 seven by students as well which is great for setting homework and for encouraging parental engagement. 